Do you know what this blue liquid is? <laughs> it was like this when we got here. Did you see or hear anything else unusual tonight? No. Something tells me you're not being honest with me. Does anyone else know that you... <gasps> what the hell? Yeah, all right, we are here today taking a look at a little upcoming banger by the name of Unusual Findings. Now, it could just be me. It could be the fact that it's a 80s based awesome little point and click adventure game based all around mysteries. But to me, this feels kind of like a little bit of a point and click adventure take on Stranger Things. Maybe even the title, you know, you have Unusual Findings, Unusual Strange Findings Things. Well, apparently our little small town has had an alien craft landing that only we're aware of. And maybe there's a couple of government conspiracies trying to keep it under wraps. Maybe E.T.'s involved and he wants to go home. I don't know. But let's check out what Unusual Findings is all about. Okay, we're apparently starting off with a little bit of, um... Space Invader, is it? Do I need to go blow in my cartridge or what? Vincent Falco, what did I tell you? But, Dad! What did I tell you? That... I'm grounded? Exactly! And that means no TV, no radio, and no video games. That's so unfair! Yo, the soundtrack's a banger, though. Are you joking? You and your criminal friends blew away half of Mrs. Johnson's garden. Can we just chill here for a while and listen to the music? This is a banger! Okay, I regret nothing. We did it for research purposes. I'm sorry it was an accident. We didn't know that sodium was so volatile. It's true. I regret nothing, Father. It was for research and science. I regret nothing. We did it for research purposes. I'm so disappointed. I was expecting at least an apology. You are not a little kid anymore. How do you think Mrs. Johnson felt about her exploding garden? Intrigued by the exploding capabilities of sodium? She was furious, and now you are grounded. So no video games. Do you understand me? I understand. That's much better. See you tomorrow. But just in case you didn't understand me well enough, I'll be taking these cartridges with me. Oh no, this is when the parents started learning what to do. But Dad! You didn't apologize yet, so you better think of what you did and come up with a convincing apology tomorrow. Or you're going to keep grounded. But... I don't want you to think that your decisions don't have consequences. Because believe me, they do. Sooner or later, you're going to have to deal with the results of your actions. Remember, your attitudes toward other people matters. Anyways. I'm locking this door. Good night. What if there's a fire, father? What if I need to escape? All right, now, as much as I'm loving the soundtrack, I'm going to lower it just a little bit so you guys get Someone's all the, um... throwing rocks in my window. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I I'm going to lower the volume so you guys get all the voice acting in here because there's voice acting. Bike pegs. Can we grab those? It's a point-and-click adventure game, so we got to grab everything. start practicing BMX stunts again. Hey, Vinny, Vinny! Oh, look, he's even got a bandana. How 80s. I'm grounded! Oh, yeah. Well, me too. I think everyone heard about our, uh, experiment near Mrs. Johnson's garden. Then what are you doing here? Are you crazy? The last of the crap Tony needs to make a signal descrambler came in the mail! We're gonna get pay-per-view cable for free! We gotta get to Tony's house! Uh, I'm not so sure, Nick. Three words, man. Naked. Chicks. Yo, on TV. let's go! Those are four words. But... <sighs> you win. Give me a minute. Just keep it quiet, alright? Ah, uh, you know, back when pornography was a luxury, you know? Nowadays, you literally open up social media, it's there in front of you, like, asses in your face. Back then, you had to work for it. You had to work for it. Scrambled channels, you know, waiting for your parents to go to sleep so you could sneak downstairs and, like, you know, watch Red Shoe Diaries or something. It wasn't even real porn, it was just like, light smut at best. But every now and then you would see a cheek. 
It would make it all worthwhile. Um, window box. Sure. Hey, there's the key to my wardrobe. Now I remember. I put it here because my sister is allergic to these flowers. Now that I say it out loud, man, I sound paranoid. But I'm almost positive she uses my things when I'm out. Yeah, you don't want that. Um, anything else I can interact with here? Zipline, is that how we're going down? Just with our bare hands? What is the alien for, the spacecraft up here? Oh, it tells you what I can interact with. Perfect. Zipline. When Brian Broken Arms Tuscan tried that last year, he earned his nickname. Since then, he doesn't hang out with us anymore. Yeah. Point well taken. So, what do I use? The zipline goes directly to the treehouse window. Mm-hmm. I mean, we need that, obviously. What have we picked up so far? Bike pegs? That shouldn't work. If I attach these to a pulley, it should be able to slide properly. Okay. So we gotta find ourselves a pulley. Oh, well, we got a key. What was this for? The wardrobe? The wardrobe key. Oh, so you were locked. Rad. Yeah, yeah, looking into the closet is indeed fairly rad. Tubular, some might even say. Search wardrobe. Hey, my old Roboto battle station! What were you doing there? Roboto battle station. What the hell? I know this is just a pulley. Oh, okay. So we but got when it. I was a little kid, I used to pretend that this was a battle station named Roboto. Mr. Roboto? Mr. Roboto yeah. on it with a marker. Yeah, yeah. Sounds about right. So can we combine? Yes, we can. That's her way out, boys. Can you open the treehouse window? Are you going to use the zip line? Isn't that, like, kind of risky? I mean, you could fall. Your dad is going to find you all crippled. Then he's going to call my parents. And I don't want that to happen. I like how that's literally anybody's train of thought. It's not the fact that your friend is going to be wind up as a paraplegic, but apparently it's the fact that you don't want to get in trouble. I know that's what's happened to me when I was a kid. Like whenever I like, you know, wrestle with my friends or cousins and like one of us would get hurt. The other one knew it was your reason to book it, get away as far as possible from the crime scene, because if they show up and somebody's hurt, then the other person get in trouble and they'll know what we're doing. At least if one of them gets away, you can kind of pretend like, you know, you hurt yourself like, oh, I was walking and I fell. But you never wanted them to know you were roughhousing. <laughs> Never mind bodily injuries and permanent harm. Um, what's wrong, Nick? Chicken. Oh, what's wrong, Nick? Buckle. Chicken. Buckle. Nobody calls Buckle. me chicken. Then prove oh, it and Buckle. open the freaking window. All right, but Do don't it, you Coward. ever call me chicken again. Noted. No, oh, I'm going to call you. I'm going to bacard you whenever we get a chance to. Your freaking 80s bandana. Do it. Do it. Hey, Tony. We're here. Did we miss anything? No, not really. I'm almost done connecting the antenna. Are you sure this is going to work? Why does it even need the antenna if we're trying to pick up cable? I installed a transmitter on the cable box down the street. That way there's no big obvious wires leading right to this house. And believe me, this thing has way more power than we need to watch free cable. You still have those pony bed sheets? Yeah, the pony cartoon has its moments. And my grandmother thinks ponies are cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, I bet she does. Don't go around saying that. Ponies are lame. Don't go around saying that. Ponies are lame. If you want to bring a girl to this room, you should definitely get rid of that. Hey, I told you my grandmother thinks it's cool. I can't argue that much with a World War II veteran. Anyways... Let's go! When are we gonna start watching adult television? After some final adjustments. Can you move the antenna a bit? Okay, let me try. Is that a nipple? Oh, that's a robotic nipple, boys. We've done it. 
It's even got like some sort of gems on it. It's working. What the hell is that? Looks like some kind of sci-fi movie. From China? What language is this even in? I have no idea. But I didn't build a descrambler, so we could catch the international channel. Let's try another one. Something's wrong. This thing is on every single channel. On the plus side, we can watch Chinese movies. Yeah, as there's that. What the hell was that? That wasn't a shooting star. I don't think that was a movie. What do you mean? It could be possible that we just witnessed some sort of distress call from a spaceship that just crashed in the South Plains Greenwoods. I I'm not sure. What if it was just the weirdest coincidence ever? Then what are we waiting for? According to my calculations, we must be near. Yeah, it smells like burnt ass. It's too bumpy. We'll have to walk from here. Amazing smell. So what do we got here? Timber! Oh, I said we're going to use it across. Gotcha. Uh, what about our goo here, huh? Don't touch Some it Some blue liquid spilled on the ground. <laughs> it smells funny. <laughs> uh, isn't it... Ridiculous Falcon that you're more immature than these children are. You know what? It's fine, okay? You you leave me alone to my own immature thoughts. <laughs> Old knife gate valve. Can we open this? I can't move it. It's too rusty. Let me give it a try. Oh, you're gonna do this? You gonna one up me this way? Oh yeah, little girly arms Vinny rusty. can't open the valve. We need something to lube it up. <laughs> uh, it's still happening. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Let's go to the pine woods. Maybe we can find. Oh, you know what? Maybe that blue liquid, huh? The thing is that wouldn't we need like at least like a container or something to hold the blue liquid to put on that valve? That's what I'm thinking anyway. Well, until we can find something, let's continue forward. We got another big vine. Weird tree this time around. This tree gives me the creeps. Okay. Very insightful. Look! The bushes are moving! Hello? Mr. Extraterrestrial? Is that you? We saw your transmission! We come in peace! They don't... Those are not the aliens we're looking for. Those are wolves. I knew this was a bad idea. Quick! Pretend to be bigger! Wolves almost never attack adults! Go away! I've got a mortgage to pay! Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> really? <laughs> Shut up! It's working! Shoo! Shoo! I have three kids and a boring job! Shoo! This isn't working. Any other plan? Run every man for himself, let the quicker mourn the slower. <laughs> Let's scare them by acting aggressive. I charge them, you cover me. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna trust my life to you guys. We run! Run! Every man for himself! Let the quicker mourn the slower! Hey! I'm the slowest! I don't know, I'm not feeling that agile tonight. I ate way too many tacos at dinner. Do we have any other plans than cowardly running? Oh. Okay, those wolves were bad enough. But that sound perturbed me even more. If that was an alien, aliens are loud. We should get away from here before the wolves change their minds. You guys don't seem to be in a rush considering wolves just almost malty to death, you know what I'm saying? What are you doing here? This is no time to visit the woods, kids. Didn't you know the area's full of wolves? Yeah, we just saw some of them over there. You were lucky they didn't attack you. You better get home. If you do it quick, I won't tell your parents about this. Sir, yes sir. Let's go. Wait. Do you know what this blue liquid is? <laughs> it was like this when we got here. Did you see or hear anything else unusual tonight? 
No. Something tells me you're not being honest with me. Does anyone else know that you... <gasps> what the hell? It's the nipple on Run! TV. Let's get to the treehouse. And he's impaled that man. Oh, the nipple was the alien. Okay. Here's the situation. There's a killer alien in town, and we're the only ones that know about it. We should tell the police. We could try, but I don't think they'll believe us. We could at least tell the park rangers that one of their guys was attacked in the woods. That makes sense. I think we should stop it ourselves. Who knows how many people that creature is going to kill before the police realize what's up? Any suggestions on how we're gonna do that? I was thinking of setting a trap. A bear trap. No one can escape a bear trap. I think it would be better if we could ensnare him with a strong net. He seems to have long limbs, so in my opinion, a net would be the more effective option. We could dig a big hole and cover it with leaves. Who do you think you are, Willie E. Coyote? Because your net idea is so much better! Please remind me, what are we trying to catch again? An alien or a shark? Gentlemen, please, there's no need to argue. Look, we don't know anything about this alien, except that it's all gangly and likes to stab people. Maybe we should take a blanket approach, you know? Cover all our bases. We can put together a bigger trap that uses all three ideas. The hole, the net, and the bear trap. At least if it fails, nobody can point fingers. Sounds fair to me. And don't worry about digging the hole. I'm sure the bull will help us with that. He owes me big time. Um, so let's see, we got Vinny Street, we got to the shopping street, Tony Street. Earl's Farm, Nick Street, outside the Bulls trailer, and the bridge. And this is the woods, huh? Oh, New Frontier's Gate. Yeah, let's go off to the Bulls trailer, I suppose. Got the old dirty puddle we got out here. Graffiti, a bush. The tag says, when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. <laughs> There's some tally marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 Jumpy Joe and the Chipmunks tape are clearly garbage. Okay, I'll ditch the Chipmunks, but I'm keeping Jumpy Joe. It's vintage! Ah, playing the old Atari, huh? Hey buddy, we moved on to the NES, Gramps. <laughs> Look at this boomer playing on his Atari. What is this, 1986? No shit. It's a heavily beaten man chained to a pipe. Is he dead? Hope not. Dead men can't talk. And I need answers. Don't worry. He's breathing. Oh. Well, at least there's that. Okay, let's speak to the bull himself. Hi, bull. Hey, kids. You here to play some more video games? I got a new one. We need your help. There's a killer creature from outer space in town! Holy shit, what? A killer alien? That sounds dangerous! You should stay away from it. Are you going to help us? As much as I want to lend a hand with space hunting, I'm really busy. You are playing video games! Oh yeah, these things can be real addictive. And believe me, I know about addictive shit. So, are you going to help us? No, I really can't. You see that guy over there? Yes? Well, he's hidden something he stole from one of my clients. My client wants it back. I have to make him talk. Can you do that later? He can't escape. 
No, this is one of those clients you don't want to mess with. But there is a creature from outer space here in South Plains! Believe me, kiddo. If they think I'm double-crossing them, they will come for me. Even if the whole cast of Galaxy Wars is running around town. What did that guy steal? What do I always tell you? That stabbing someone is easier if that someone doesn't know he is about to be stabbed? Yeah, but what else? The less we know about your work, the better for us. Could you help us dig a hole? You owe me at least that much. I know, but right now... Wait a minute. You need me to dig a hole? Yes! Does it matter where I dig it? It has to be in a secluded area near town. Perfect. I know the guy over there buried what he stole, so once we know where it is, me and the guys will dig a big hole to retrieve it. You can keep the hole if you want. Hmm... Okay. Okay, so it seems that in order for us to get this hole dug, we gotta find out what that dude stole and where he stole it, or at least where he dug it to, so I could, you know, find it. We keep the hole, they keep the items. Unfortunately, don't worry the time, I'm gonna wrap it up here. This is right now not complete just yet, this is only a preview build that I was, you know, throwing my way to show off to you guys. But there's obviously more to do, so if you guys wanna see more of this preview build, do let me know we can come back and do a bit more of it. Otherwise, we can wait around for the full release later this year, I do believe. So far, really digging it. Everything about it vibing pretty well with me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. All the information for this will be down below in case you want to keep an eye on it yourselves. I'll catch you next time.